Hi, this is Martin Gutenberger. I have a uh, iron quantification MRI here and I'm going to be showing you how we process these for iron quantification. Obviously first you will go through uh, all of our routine sequences uh, and read the MRI uh, like normal, but then after that you will pull down these specialized sequences that we use for iron quantification. So what I typically pull down um, for the iron quantification is really anything that says uh, Dixon or in and out and then I pull down all of the sequences that say FFE. Uh, I think you're really only supposed to need the FFE sequences but I find that I have better luck uh, getting full results if I just send all of the in and outs and Dixon sequences as well. Okay so now I've pulled down all of the sequences that start with FFE which there are seven of them here uh, I've also pulled down the sequences that say anything about Dixon or in and out uh, At that point, then I will hold down Control and I'll click on all of the sequences to get ready to export them to a USB drive. So the program that we use to do the iron quantification, uh, we can only install on the hospital computers. And the only uh, simple way to transfer the images from the PAX computers to the hospital computers is just to do it on a USB drive. That's uh, basically the simplest method we could come up with. Okay, so what you'll do is uh, after you have all of the sequences that you want to export selected, um, you'll either um, go along your top toolbar if that's where it is or on your right click menu to the disk export uh, function. So I've added it to my right click menu here. Uh, here it is at the bottom, disk export, and then you will just export the selected series. You can um, export the whole study, but that just takes longer. So go to Export Selected Series, um, and then the uh, Export dialog box will come up. Um, make sure that it's exporting to the USB key drive. I usually give it a name like uh, Liver Iron and then the date, and if I've had to try multiple times to get it to work by exporting different things, I'll say try one, two, three, something like that. Um, that might give you a sense of how this doesn't always uh, work smoothly. Um, viewers, on the Viewers tab I select Files Only. On the Files and Formats uh, tab I select the images and make sure they're in a DICOM format. And then on the Options tab I um, just say Regular Media Format As Is and then I make sure that the anonymized images is right clicked. I have come across uh, one study where I just could not get the study to process uh, while anonymized and I had to put it on the USB drive uh, anonymized. Just make sure that you delete uh, anything after that. Once you have everything ready, then you click export and the images will be exported to your USB drive. Okay, now on the hospital computer, uh, we're gonna start up um, the program called MRQuantIF on some of the uh, computers in the body room is just named uh, MRI Iron Quantification uh, or something like that. If you cannot find the program on the computers, you can always just Google MRQuantIF and you can download this program and install it. Um, to find the images, you need to put in the USB drive and then use the uh, folder icon to uh, find the folder that you exported them to. After you've selected the correct folder, you have to hit this refresh icon right here, uh, and the study will come up uh, down here. Once you select the study, um, it will show you the options. Um, this is a sample study, so they only have one slice, which is an appropriate slice, um, but what you exported will actually have lots of slices, and so you'll have to look at the location number and choose a location number that um, shows images over here that have the liver and spleen in them and uh, you know, a large portion of the liver and spleen in them. After you've selected the right uh, image, um, if you choose over here all echoes at the same location in recognized series, um, it will auto select from every series for you something at that location. So once you've picked your location, you hit process checked uh, images and it will take you to the next screen. Over here, it's telling you that when you do your next click, it's going to be a liver ROI. So it's going to have me do three liver ROIs, two muscle ROIs, a spleen, and a noise ROI. So I'm just going to do those real quick. Liver one, two, three. And I uh, just try to be in the periphery of the liver, avoid any you know, large vessels um, or any other you know, strange abnormality that there might be. Um, 
So I've got my liver, then I'll do my muscle ROIs here, and then I'll do my spleen ROI, and then I'll click out here for a noise ROI. Sometimes the noise ROI takes a few clicks. I think it's because it's calculating. Um, but then once it's calculated, it comes up with this uh, nice graph here. You don't really need to uh, look at that. Uh, the important thing after that is to go up to the text icon over here, um, and it will give you uh, basically everything that you need to say uh, in your report. So it'll tell you that the uh, liver iron concentration here for this patient is 73 micromoles per gram, uh, and normal will be less than 36. Um, it will tell you the splenic iron load, and I guess that's just uh, theoretical, uh, but you can report that, and it'll also give you a fat uh, load. I don't always get that. I think it depends on what uh, series you export. Um, so in any case, then you'll get your uh, conclusion, and you can put that in your report, and then you're done.